Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about talk to you about um, headless service in Kubernetes. Uh, hopefully you already know what a service is. Um, but anyway, uh, the, I'm going to leave a link to this uh, page here that really explains it very well. Uh, first of all, what is a service? So imagine if you have a uh, hundred pods serving up your uh, web page. Uh, you don't want traffic to go directly to the pod because that beats the whole point of resiliency. So in Kubernetes, we have what's called a service. A service points in the back end to all these pods. And you can access this service with an internal or an external IP, depending on, on how you set it up. Uh, so you can point your DNS to that um, service. For example, let's say that you have a, uh, you have a website called abc.com. You point the DNS to the, to, the IP, to the IP address of the service that you created in Kubernetes whose back end is are all these hundred pods. That's a normal, regular service in Kubernetes. But what is a headless uh, service? Headless is when you direct the traffic directly to the pods when you hit the service and there's no layer in between. There's no, there's, there's, there's no load balancer uh, or, or a proxy hidden behind the service that's directing the traffic to the pods. In a headless service, the traffic go, hits the service and goes directly to the pods. There's no middleman in the middle that you can't even see. So that's a headless service. Now, why would you ever want to do that? That beats the whole point of having a service to begin with. Well, turns out there's another th concept that we'll talk about later in the road is called state, um, stateful set in Kubernetes. For example, you might have a Redis cluster or a database where order matters, where consistency of the data matters, in which case you need a stateful, you need to create a stateful set, which we'll talk about in a later video. But for that to happen, we need to create a headless service because in that particular case, you the pods matter. The first pod is different than the other pods or a master node, a master pod um, or a master node in a MySQL service is different than the other nodes and the data has to be consistent in which case you need to use a, a headless service because the order of the pod matters. I hope this was clear to you uh, as to what a, what a headless service is and why you would need one. Later on, we will, I, I will do a demo of this, uh, but right now, just the concept is enough. I hope, I hope this, uh, you, this video was useful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe. That helps me, helps me with the YouTube algorithm, and I will see you next time.